Welcome to the lesson on cardiopulmonary resuscitation. In this video, we'll discuss performing CPR using the chain of survival. Successful cardiopulmonary resuscitation, or CPR, requires the use of it as a part of systems of care called the chain of survival. As with any chain, it's only as strong as its weakest link. Thus, everyone must strive to make sure each link is strong. For instance, community leaders can work to increase awareness of the signs and symptoms of cardiac arrest and make AEDs available in public places. EMS crews must stay abreast of updates and innovations in resuscitation and hone the skills required to deliver CPR quickly and effectively. Hospitals should be ready to receive patients in cardiac arrest and provide excellent care. Critical care and reperfusion centers should be staffed by experts and equipped with the latest technology. Early initiation of BLS has been shown to increase the probability of survival for an individual dealing with cardiac arrest. To increase the odds of surviving a cardiac event as a rescuer, you should follow the steps in the adult chain of survival. The first step in the adult chain of survival is to recognize symptoms and activate EMS. Next, perform early CPR. Then, defibrillate with AED. Once the EMS team arrives, they'll provide advanced life support to the individual. When the individual becomes stable and is taken to the hospital, they'll receive post-cardiac arrest care. This concludes our lesson on cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Next, we'll review post-cardiac arrest care.